Hey, Tony here. For today's 31 Days of Horror, I'm going to do my favorite horror films from the 1970s. Um, I thought I would go ahead and just do these from... Um, I was born in 1969, so I'm not going to do any from the 60s, but I thought I would just kind of highlight my favorite films from my life. Um, other than 1969, I'm not going to go back into the 60s, so I'm just going to focus on the 70s for this particular video. Um, there are some really great ones from the 70s, and these, um, all of these I would definitely recommend you checking out. Um, these are some of my favorites. Um, first up, we're going to have Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Um, this right here has always been a very strange film to me. I do remember watching this on cable when it first came out um, back in the 70s. It always scared me. Um, but anyway, great performances here. I definitely need to check this one out again. Um, so these are not going to be in any particular order. Next up, we have Alien. This is another one from the 70s that I really enjoyed. Um, I remember seeing this one as a kid. Another one that was terrifying, especially the one scene with the alien coming out the chest of the man. I can't remember his name. Um, but a very great sci-fi horror film. One of my favorite, all-time favorite um, horror movies from the 70s is the Amityville Horror, the original. I can't say enough about this film. I really do love it. Um, I do remember watching this one. I remember doing a book report on this when I was a kid. Uh, another great film from the 70s, if you've never seen it, it's on the Criterion Collection. It is The Brood. Um, I just watched this one for the first time a few years ago. This is a David Cronenberg film. Very strange. Um, very well done. I would highly recommend you check that one out. Another one, that, another film from my childhood from the 70s is The Exorcist. Um, I never did watch this as a kid. I do remember seeing bits and pieces of it as a kid, but I never really fully watched this one until I was a teenager. The Exorcist. This is one of the movies that everyone should see. It's one that I love to watch. Um, it really puts you in the mood for Halloween. Another great film is um, from the 70s is Don't Look Now. Um, I only watched this one a few years ago for the first time. Another great one. Um, very strange. Um, but yeah, definitely something that you should check out. The Legacy. This is um, one that I watched a few years ago for the first time. Um, and it is... It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a strange film. Definitely check it out. Um, it, it was really good. It's a good watch. It's a very eerie looking film. Um, so yeah, check that one out. One of my favorites from my childhood was a miniseries on as a kid. And that's Salem's Lot. Um, I do watch this. I try to watch it every year. Sometimes it's every other year. Um, but this right here is a really good miniseries. A vampire story. Very well acted. A very good atmospheric type film for um, Halloween season. So um, that's a recommendation from the 70s. Um, another one that I only watched a few years ago for the first time. And that is Play Misty for me. This is a Clint Eastwood film. It's got um, Donna Mills in it. A really good thriller story. Um, definitely check out Play Misty for me if you've never seen it, if you like a really good thriller. Okay, another good film from the um, 70s is the original The Omen. I like The Omen. I like the way... It reminds me a lot of Rosemary's Baby for some reason. Um, but it's a really good horror film from the 70s. Um, another favorite of mine from the 70s is the original, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I know a lot of people do not like this film because it is cheesy. It's got some poor acting in it, but it is a classic to me. I really do enjoy this film. I could watch it every year. I try to watch it every year. Um, but yeah, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original, is excellent. Another great one from the 70s is Carrie with Sissy Spacek. I really enjoy um, Sissy Spacek and I really enjoyed her performance in this. Um, and also the performance of her mother. This right here was a really good film. Um, if you've never seen Carrie, check it out. It's a really creepy film. A good revenge story. And I guess I'll say the best for last from the 1970s is Halloween. The original Halloween from John Carpenter 
is excellent. It is a classic. This is definitely one that I watch every year. I think most people do, um, but you cannot go wrong with the original Halloween. So those are my recommendations from the 1970s. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know if you know of any other films from the 1970s that you would recommend me checking out because I really do enjoy your recommendations and I really do take them to heart and I put them in my watch pile. So if you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.